Hey, this is Pastor Jay Lee, and you're listening to the Daily Sabbath Podcast. Hey guys, it's Pastor Jay here. Uh, Before we get to today's devotional, I just wanted to share with you a new feature that we've added called Pod Inbox. Uh, Basically, Pod Inbox is the easiest way for you to leave us recorded messages. We would love to hear just any questions that you have about Jesus, about faith, or the Bible, or we would just love to hear how these daily Sabbath devotionals have been speaking to you in some way. And so you can log on to podinbox.com slash daily Sabbath, or you can find the link on our anchor page or in the episode descriptions. And so we would love to hear from you and maybe we'll feature your recording in a future episode of Daily Sabbath. And with that, here's today's scripture reading. John chapter 16, verses 5 through 7. But now I am going to him who sent me. None of you ask me, where are you going? Rather, you are filled with grief because I have said these things. But very truly, I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go... I will send him to you. I've always thought it was kind of unfair that some people got to see Jesus in the flesh. I just imagine what it must have been like to see him in person performing miraculous healings, casting out demons, having the crowds hanging on his every word as he spoke. It just seems like those people had such an advantage over us, having Jesus there with them. But Jesus says it is to our advantage that he go back to the Father, that somehow it's actually better. How can that be true? What we fail to understand is that when Jesus was incarnate, he willfully limited himself. He humbled himself into the limits of flesh and blood, time and space. It meant that when Jesus was walking into your town, he was walking out of someone else's. It meant that sometimes Jesus was sleeping. And sometimes he couldn't be found at all because he was off by himself on a mountain to rest and pray. If I'm being honest, I I almost don't believe this. But Jesus says the reality is, it's to our advantage he returned to the Father. Now he is sitting at the right hand of the Father, constantly interceding on our behalf. Now the Holy Spirit has been poured out and dwells within our hearts, connecting us to the Father and the Son. Now Jesus can say, all authority has been given me on heaven and on earth. Surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And so your reflection for today is this. Do you feel alone? Are you desperate for Jesus to show up? Know that he can be present to you in all places and at all times. So reach out for him in prayer and his word today. For more Daily Sabbath content, please be sure to follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can also follow us on our Instagram account, Daily Sabbath.